there were a few people that were, were quite forthright in their views of actually what these comments or people commenting were all about. And the one person who stood out for me actually was Liam the Terrible. So good on you, mate, actually, for that. Um, your views were, 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 were heard by these people as well, just as mine were. And um, good on you for having the confidence and the, and the, uh, the courage of your convictions to, um, you know, stand by what ultimately is right. I don't really have an opinion on Black Lives Matter, White Lives Matter, Brown Lives Matter, whatever it is, Gay Lives Matter, Lesbian Lives Matter. I don't have an opinion on any of them because it doesn't really feature. I don't think about it. People are just people. They're not defined by their colour, their sexuality, their religion for me. Um, it makes no difference to me. If people are nice and people are genuine, that's fine. And actually... I was going to pull the van out then. Um, I did have it out a little bit earlier on. But I've just realised my keys are not in my pocket. And that'll be a real shit show actually because I've only got one set. Um, that'll be another element to the saga. Um, but what I want to show you now quickly um, is quite interesting. What I've done is I have ordered some batteries and an inverter and it's a DC to DC or an AC DC or a bloody Blink 182 or whatever it is. I don't know anything about um, electrics. No, I think it's a DC to DC charger or something like that. Um, but they're all going to go back here. So they should be arriving in the next few days um, and I'll film the install. But the batteries are going to go here. Now this space is quite big but it's not quite big. If I go and get this battery here, which is an old, I don't know what it is. This came with the van when I bought it. Um, and it's pretty heavy. But what they're going to do is these batteries are going to go like that. So there'll be one there and one there next to it um and i don't think they're going to be much bigger than that but they're 100 amp hours each and they're lithium now um that's so then just up there is where the the solar cables come in and then they'll be connected up to the batteries um but what's exciting about these batteries are not only are they lithium which is a bit of a dream for me because I wanted to have lithium, but it was, they are expensive, um, the lithium batteries. But this company that I spoke to initially about the MPPT charger was so helpful, actually. Um, yeah, they were just so helpful. And I'll go into more detail about that on the video about the install because they were brilliant. So I've got this inverter from them and batteries coming. Um, now this inverter is something special as well, actually. I don't now require the MPPT charger, as far as I understand from what they were saying. Um, it's got it all built into it. And the batteries then have something, because these are very, very new lithium batteries. I don't think they've been out very long. So it's quite a new product. Um, it has all this stuff, management system within them to allow for the fact that you don't need to have an MPPT charger. So they are coming, they are, they have been shipped. In fact, I spoke to the company today. So they have now been shipped, it's a, it's a British company. Um, so they've been shipped over here to France. So they'll be coming and they'll be installed. I still haven't got the infamous diesel heater finished off, but that's just because Stefan has been busy and I, 
spoke to him a little earlier and he's also been um again as brilliant as he is he's been building a metal box for the heater to go into so i'm assuming that's something that we can do on monday this monday coming um and that'll be great so yeah batteries are going to be in there's a company that i'm speaking to about paneling for the walls um now they do actually they what the, what their main source of uh, i suppose income is that they do paneling for um yachts um but the same friend who helped me source the 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 solar panels um the, the, those big monster solar panels he knows the people that work for this company that do the paneling and um basically what they're going to do is um try and sort out some off cuts of this paneling that goes into yachts hopefully and um help me out with that actually so it's brilliant so the, all the all the all the news so far is very very positive um yeah i can't wait for these batteries to come it's going to be fantastic i just want to um touch on a little bit over the last week um i've had mixed sort of feelings this week um predominantly coming from my last video but i just want to say something just while i'm out here um at the side of the van there if you can uh, ignore the the shit the bird shit that's happened obviously there's birds underneath this bit and everything like that but but on this this bit here hang on a minute it's my mum yeah i'm here i'm filming Right, I have to stop for a minute. Hold on. There's my mum. Yeah, so, um, well, my mum's still out here. The, uh, what I was saying then, um, is that here on the side here, um, you'll have to excuse the bird shit. But here on the side here, I was never happy with this kind of block of silver so what i was thinking about doing was doing something there the, the painting's not actually finished yet but um it's it's it's, it's, it's almost finished um i wasn't happy with that big block of silver so um and it's exactly the same on the other side so i, I was thinking about painting something on there myself but through these um these van forums and the the group chats and things like that on Facebook, uh, uh, along with Liam the Terrible, who I've said I like very much. This is the other side. Um, I've also got in touch with this uh, girl called Sarah, or um, I think some people know her as um, Stubsy. And what she's agreed to do is, if I can get the van to her, um, I've asked her if she would be willing to do some artwork on there which she's um agreed to for now anyway so i could end up with not only a really really unique van but um some really quite unique and special hopefully artwork on the side of the van as well to try and break up that uh bloody silver bit there because it just looks a bit odd i think um so yeah things are coming along nicely batteries are coming along nicely and um <clears throat> yeah that's what will be happening soon so this will be a very short video um and yeah this will be a very very short video and that'll be it mainly because uh i don't know what my mum's doing she's out there pulling weeds up huh. um also probably wondering what's going to go into the video but yeah, it's been a, a strange week. In regards to Sarah Stubbsy, who I've just mentioned, I'll put her links and everything up underneath because she's an artist. She's a tattoo artist by profession, um, but she also does artwork as well. Um, some stuff that will, it looks quite nice. And what's interesting for me, where I found her quite interesting, is that um, she's also done these DIY projects. And... Um, I think some of the stuff she's done is fantastic, actually. 
um, especially which I was quite annoyed about. She didn't film, um, and you've got to keep filming this stuff, um, Sarah. She did a, a sort of a really nice mosaic table, um, and that was really really nice. But what I quite liked was the seats that were there, made out of great big lumps of rock. Um, really nice it was. Um, and it's a pity it wasn't filmed, but you can see stuff like that on her YouTube channel, um, which I'll put the link below. And again, even though this is what I think is my 10th video, I still don't know whether it's there or there, or I know it's not up there, but anyway, it's somewhere it will come, but the link will be kind of in the description as well. Um, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to um, Sarah doing that bit of artwork. Um, because she seems really, really quite a good artist and um, that would be nice for the size of that. Um, <laughs> touching on the beginning of the week or when the last video was released, it was, um, it was a shame to discover that in a community which I suppose I'm very, very, very new to, um, there are some people with some pretty old fashioned views on things and their views are so old fashioned and so um, so obvious actually um, on things. They were so obvious from the fact that um, some of them were, were, were quite happy to comment on the fact that they were not gonna watch the video purely, so I'm talking about the last week's video um, because of the title. So they were so old fashioned and so I think people can establish what their views are. The, the The title was Black Lives Matter, but actually the video wasn't about that. I touched on that for maybe about two or three minutes, I think, in the video, if I can remember rightly, of, of a 20 minute video. Um, and actually in that video, I say, I don't believe that Black Lives Matter in anyone else's life. Um, I mean, you've just seen there and whether I add it in or not, both my parents are um, white. I'm mixed race. I was adopted when I was one year. Yeah, I just, I, I noticed actually when I was um, finishing this off, I, the, the battery died on my phone. Um, so I was in the middle of saying something, but yeah, I was adopted at one um, to two parents uh, who are both white. Um, and, you know, Race has never been an issue for me at all. Um, it never has, it never will be. And it's the same as religion, uh, sexual orientation, whatever it is. Um, but I was just quite disappointed in uh, certain people that seemed to, uh, that were in groups where I, I, I would say the vast majority of people in these groups are um, more outward looking than some of these characters. Um, and the reality is, uh, whether they watch my videos or not, I really couldn't care. I don't particularly want people like that to watch my videos anyway. Um, my videos are not for them to watch. So yeah, that was a bit disappointing. But I'll just cut this short now anyway. Um, yeah, things are looking really positive for the old van. Positive for things moving forward. I've had some really positive news as well, just today as well, about something else. So... Um, it's good. I've noticed that actually uh, what has been cut out is that I've made a really good connection with an old mate of mine as well. So that's really positive. So you know who you are. My bromance partner um, uh, will stay in touch. And the plans we were discussing last night, um, we'll move those forward as rapidly as possible. So yeah, we'll stay in touch in there. And it's great to have my bromance partner back. Um, it really is but yeah I'm going to leave it there um, thanks for watching uh, if you haven't already subscribed then click again somewhere to subscribe I really appreciate it and I appreciate the comments as well um, I'm going to keep making the videos regardless of what some people's views are it's just started raining here again this is kind of summed up the week in regards to weather on and off on and off but anyway i'm gonna go and um i'll see you again next week cheers guys